Good afternoon. Good afternoon. One and all. Yeah. This is a serious time. And we all know that. My name is Sister Aisha, loving Aisha. Marilyn Hodge. I'm the CEO and the president of Jail Youth Development Initiative. And along with me, I have my sister, who will introduce herself. All right, giving thanks to the Most High, I, I would like to um, acknowledge yes, everyone who's present and um, why we are here. I am Shalima Edwards, and I'm the president of Umoja Caribbean Union. Um, this is in conjunction with JYDI and um, what Aisha, well, I, I have to add this for Aisha's sake because uh, she is also the West Area representative for UCU, that's Umoja Caribbean Union. And we also have an East Area representative. Um, when you think about your natural right, born to be free, there's always something to keep in mind. Being free, there's a responsibility for order, for accountability. Otherwise, we'll have chaos in the place. So today, at this meeting, we are very pleased to have our honorable brother, Elder Mario Moorhead, who's going to enlighten us with information that I know he has been broadcasting for a good while regarding the reapportionment, um, regarding the legislature. Thank you, Madam President. And my general, beautiful Aisha, I thank the Queens for having the foresight to bring us together and hopefully we all live with a better understanding of what role we could play in having a better government for us all. Right to propose a law or a change in law. And once we get the required number of signatures, the legislature either has to adapt it or propose their version of the very same law, which then goes to an election might be a special election if necessary and then the people will vote whether on their proposal or the legislature's proposal but they will be on the same issue just the different approach different methodology to accomplish the same result hopefully question from the audience <laughs> Good afternoon to everybody, and good afternoon to the spirit of our ancestors. Queen. That's the way I just told them hello. So we're here in front of this court, and that makes me believe that every single one of us wants a petition to hand it. Mary, would you like to answer the question? I missed the question. The answer is just talking to you. Anyway, where can we get petition? Every one of us wants a petition. If I'm wrong, raise your hand. Now I mean for us go around. So everybody is going to receive a petition today, right? Um, this beautiful person here, here is trying to 
This beautiful person, she didn't want me to say it too loudly, but this beautiful person has the answer to your question, Council. Hello everyone. Um, I have some of the petitions and as soon as I read it, I knew it came from Mario. And yes, the initiative is the way to go because it will be a, the issue will be ignored forever if they don't if they're not forced to deal with it in the Senate. And hopefully by the end of this year we will have enough the three thousand signatures in each district to uh, put it on the ballot. But there are questions I have and one of the questions is who generated this? Is it an organization? Because I was given the, the copies and signed it right away and said, yes, I will circulate it. But it occurred to me that I don't really know where it's coming from exactly. Um, that's a question that has been asked and I would, I, I think I know where it comes from, but I want to be sure. Well, I am just going to share my thought. I, I don't have any more certainty than you do. I but it I came think, from you. Uh, I, well, I thought it was your organization called the St. Croix Government Retirees. No, it was brought to us, yes. Well, there you are. Okay, okay so then, um, okay, I, I will talk about that with the person I need to talk to about it. Um, other questions that have come to me in circulating this is that some people want to say, well, we wanted fewer senators. You have covered that. Um, and you have said that some people want more district. You have said that we can break it up later on once um, this comes in um, as five districts, it can turn to nine. Um, there was also a discussion on reducing salaries that you just mentioned. But another one was people are saying, um, I might want to vote for somebody I know who's a, a good senator but doesn't live in my district. And see that as a problem. There are all kinds of things that people are saying and wanting to know I wonder where if I could from. get you to slow down a little bit yes. for this head, so we could take them, okay. you know, one by one because they don't have that much recall. Uh, what you ask the first one? The first one first is, issue. Yeah. Um, you, you have touched on this. Some people want fewer Centers, and they are saying that um, they're getting paid too much, yeah. that they would like to see salaries. They want everything, in other words, everything in this petition that they can think of. And my response has been, this is something that is out there. It's an initiative that's already formulated. Let's go with this, and then we can always um, adjust it later but to get the initiative going and to get it into the, actually onto the ballot. I agree with you, as they say, uh, axiomatically, you know, that the longest journey begins with the first step. So we're making the first step. All right, thank you. Um, just a follow up before the next. What, um, you had more than one, one question? Um, well, just Keep in mind one question at a time because there are others who would oh, like okay. to ask questions and you're free to come back. So could you answer the question regarding who um, the petitions are returned to, please? Okay, everybody that have a petition, could you please write down this number that you can call and then return the petition to, okay? The number is a record 340 626. Five three two nine. I repeat three four zero six two six five three two nine. Thank you, audience. Yes, good afternoon. Um, when I was younger in college, we had a similar problem for SGA at Clark College where we wanted to run in a block instead of running for each individual office. And uh, we met in private and developed the block that we wanted and ran on a platform like that. I know it 
obviously it takes a lot more obviously with uh, signing petitions and getting people to agree with you but I think that we still can run in I, I see that we could still organize people in the various districts that you're describing if we go to work in those areas and elect the Senate or a potential senator from those areas and have the whole group meet in blocks. What will we have to do to organize and do these kind of town hall meetings to get the communities to let who they wanted in those areas and then we bring them on the platform under the commitment that they would represent that, that issue? Well, my sister, uh, one thing that we uh, dearly lack in the Virgin Islands is uh, the unity that comes from districting. You see, the senator or senators who represent that district will find it necessary to have the groupings you're speaking of. They will have to have town halls. They will have to have gatherings with their district to know precisely what the people in that district are expecting from them and they to say to the people, well, what they can possibly deliver. Why this might be possible, why that can't be possible. But this is how it happens in republics, the republican form of government, the districts become the mini government in itself. With that district senator having the need to communicate with his constituents. And this is how it works in the republican form of government so that, yes, once this is accomplished, let's just say, ideally, it happens in November, and the 33rd legislature actually brings about this change. I am suggesting to you that immediately those people who are the senators, the district senators for those districts, they are going to be trying to find ways how to reach their people. They want to get reelected.